hey hi guys so currently i need some help on one of the tasks which i'm currently working on uh, i spent quite a lot of time last week uh, like trying to smooth well let me explain what i'm talking about so as you see i just run a bounty program which is like i'll pay 100 dollar to anyone who can fix this issue for me and let me just explain what the bounty is about so we will go to notion so i have written this whole document about it plus made a small sample project where you can contribute and if you did what is asked in this document i'll pay hundred dollars immediately for that if uh, there are some rules for that so we'll come back to it so one is uh like first of all let me tell you what remotion is right so remotion is like uh, a library from which you can make these programmatical videos so if anyone is a javascript or a react developer they can write these compositions and it's kind of programmers can become video editors with like with coding you can edit the video that's what promotions philosophy is and using this tool there have like a lot of new tools are coming out and similarly i'm using remotion for one of my product which i'm currently working on and there i'm stuck on one of the issue so what the issue is basically so this is like in, in the in the notion doc which i'll link in the description i have given the whole code which i want to get fixed so here is the thing so we have a mouse position let me also explain it via the code so if you go to this this is a player which is provided by remotion there is this composition line which i have added so if you see this is a composition which i have written this is a basic very basic composition this uses remotions inbuilt animation libraries and if i play this video if you see here the cursor is moving but you see the motion is not very smooth and why is that because currently it's using this mouse.json data which is also added in this project so each location where the mouse is going is linked with a frame number so frame number one will be xy position will be here frame number three xy position will be here so there are a lot of these captured positions of each frame and where the mouse needs to be now this is the same composition which i'm using on uh, sorry same json which i'm using on two different compositions one is on a timeline and another is on a framer composition so if i use it on framer composition let's say if i put it here now what's the difference between framer composition and timeline composition is that framer composition uses a very advanced um, like a web based animation library which is called framer motion so if i play this here in this framer motion you will notice the mouse jitterness is gone like mouse motions are very very smooth fluid very natural like if it's moving long distance it's going quick and then easing in in the end it seems super natural like so not super natural but pretty natural to me and very soothing to the eyes so this is what i want the animations to be in timeline composition now why i can't just use framer composition which i have written it because when you are rendering remotions videos you cannot use any external libraries like framer motion because they do not uh, like follow one rule of major rule of remotion which is each position where the mouse is needs to be linked to the frame which is playing right now in the player so right now if i am go going to framer motion because it's fluid right so let's say if i scrub this right you see if i scrub the timeline the the mouse cannot determine its position because it's it's trying to predict the next point once it reaches to a certain frame which is very bad if you are trying to render a video in remotion so we do not want this that's why i'm using timeline composition and here if you see in timeline composition if i do the same thing if i'll do the same thing you see mouse is going to exact mouse's positions are exactly linked to the frame where it has to be but it's jittery so what we have to do is we have to fix this uh, in this project if you can fix this if you can make it as smooth as framer motion or as close to as framer motion i will give this bounty to a person whose code i select to put it in my project and this is all i have explained in this as well and there is a video which is created by the creator of remotion you can use this why we need this kind of like frame to animation linking uh, for uh, for rendering the video so in framer motion it's fluid in without framer motion it's very jittery how to win the bounty well you just have to update the code for timeline comp you can fork the project and once you make the new changes i will see those new changes i will try to render the video if the video renders with the smooth animations and there is no flickering and uh, yeah another one of the fourth point is uh, there are some points which is like is click is true so mouse needs to follow these 
through these coordinates if not that's also fine uh, this is not like I will say this is optional if you can make it then maybe like if two people give me and one person has added this and another has not I will I will choose the person who has added this as it but this is optional right and how will I get the bounty if you are in India I can pay you via UPI if you are outside India I can use wire transfer to pay you and I can also transfer via crypto or you can just if you have any other question you can ping me at Divyanshu Negi in Twitter or x.com so this is uh, what the problem is currently which I'm facing uh, the bounty is up so yeah if anyone who can solve this problem um, hundred dollars are up for, for grabs right again framer motion if you do not know anything about framer motion it's not that uh, like it's not that typical or it's not that uh complicated <coughs> sorry it's not that complicated to know uh, or to start contributing and this is a code sandbox link which i have already given in the notion doc so it will be useful for you you can use take help from ai as well if you want because i have talked to ai for like hours and i couldn't reach to as smooth as it was with framer composition there are other libraries like react spring but all of them follow the same rule uh, there is gsap so i have some hopes with gsap uh, i haven't tried it a lot if anyone is interested this is just an example i'm providing if you want to play with it uh, you can play with gsap and uh, i have tried react spring i have tried framer motion i have tried a bit of gsap but not much so yeah this can be helpful as well if you can make it smooth the main end goal is to make the cursor movements smooth and not uh, as jittery as they are right now right it's so bad it's like i i feel so bad about this ux of how the cursor is moving right now i have done some optimizations in my personal product which does not look as bad as they are here uh, but i want to see like if anyone has any better ideas about it right another idea which i want to throw out there which i also tried is what i did uh, i i think it's here or not uh, baked position ref yeah that, that code is already here in this framer composition what i did when you play this whole com like whole video with framer composition from starting to end 22 seconds in the final uh, like frame i get this baked position so it just captures where the mouse has been and stores it in a json and then i use that json i don't know if i have provided it here not here so i use that final json and i just play it in a loop without any animation and that is still very good like so what the idea is framer motion plays the whole video uh, whole cursor movements uh, with its whole internal calculations then in the end i get a json where our cursor actually moved based on the framer motions animations and then i have these xy new xy coordinates with each frame then i use this animate.json to run my final like in timeline comp so i do not use any animation there i just use i just put each frame to the coordinate which framer motions animation provided me and that looks very smooth but the problem with that idea is if i have a one hour video i have to play that one hour video for one hour and then i will get that animation file because i cannot get it without playing the animation if you can somehow get that file without running framer motion that's also one of the viable options so yeah hundred dollars if anyone is like uh, interested in playing with this challenge uh, most welcome and yeah if anyone can help me i will be really really like i'll, I'll give a very huge shout out i'll pay this hundred dollars immediately if you can just fix this problem for me thank you so much i'm working on another videos but this was something of a problem which i wanted to like share outside so yeah here it is cheers